Their small faces number in the thousands in Brazil. Their mothers worried about developmental delay because of microcephaly. The word literally means small head. It's a rare condition. There are more than 50 known causes, everything from viruses and parasites to malnutrition and maternal alcohol abuse. This tropical disease specialist is analyzing CT scans of babies with microcephaly at the request of the Brazilian government. We were struck by the severity of cerebral atrophy, which is thinning of the brain matter uh, that we observed in, in ba babies with microcephaly. Also detected in the scans, extensive calcium deposits, a sign of inflammation, and a smooth brain surface instead of the usual wrinkles called gyri. The Zika virus is strongly suspected because the spike in microcephaly seems to follow outbreaks of Zika infections. And a new review of a past Zika outbreak in French Polynesia also shows a spike in cases of microcephaly. Still, Co is trying to rule out whether the abnormalities could be the virus interacting with something else in the environment. And this has been one of the challenges in, in really understanding the epidemic and whether actually Zika is actually the cause of the large number of cases that are being reported in, in Brazil. This is really not a very common condition at all. This infectious disease specialist treats children with microcephaly. Typically just one in six to eight thousand babies are born with the condition, but it's difficult to predict neurological development by brain and head size. There's really quite uh, a lot of variability. Uh, some infants or children with very um, small heads might just be perfectly well in terms of um, their neurodevelopmental function. Though some children born with microcephaly can lead rewarding lives, others can be severely mentally and physically delayed in their development. It's a condition with no treatment, no cure, and no clear prognosis. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.